Hello, my friends. So, I did an attempt. I well, I have tried to install uh, Kali Linux for a large a large system. It didn't work. Not enough uh, space on my Chromebook. Now I will make a second attempt, but this time I'm go instead of uh, installing uh, Kali Linux large, I will install. Kelly Linux everything. Maybe it's gonna be too big too, but we, we we will make it. We will have a try. First of all, I need to tell you first that uh, I have right now at my disposal 14 gigabytes out of 21 gigabytes. So uh, I'm gonna try to install Kelly Linux everything. Maybe it will be too big maybe not but i will i will see if it's too big or not so if so anyway you know in order to do that i'm using the command well first of all i need to enter sudo enter ch root this is the password for chronos and uh, i need to enter this place because I need the apt command the application uh, package uh, tool whatever the deal with the thing that deals with the the installation of packages so I'm gonna do the command sudo uh, sudo apt get install Kali Linux everything so sudo apt apt get install Kali Linux everything Kali Linux everything Kali Linux everything let's cross our fingers oh the password for Kali Hmm. <clears throat> they are recommended packages. Oh, 21.3. No, this will not fit on my machine. Uh, you see, I have only 14 gigabytes. And after this operation, 21.3 gigabytes will be uh, used. So it's too much. I can't, it, it does not fit on my Chromebook. So I do not wish to continue. Instead, I'm gonna be more m modest and I'm gonna, well, hmm, hmm, what should I install? Okay, I will try Kali Linux default. And you know what? If some packages and some tools are required after well I will install them one by one as I will need them so after this operation uh, 6437 megabytes of additional disk will be used well that's about 6 gigs and I have 14 gigs so it will fit on my computer so I'm gonna say yes so let's proceed but uh, I will stop the video here but I will come back if it asks me questions and I will also show you the end of the installation process. So I'll see you later. Okay, so I am back into the installation. Please specify whether Mac Changer should uh, be set up to run automatically every time a network device is brought up or down. This gives a new Mac address whenever you attach an Ethernet cable or re-enable re Wi-Fi. Change Mac address automatically? No. I will do it manually. Uh, Kismet needs root privileges uh, for, uh, for for some of its function. Okay, enabling this feature allow user in the Kismet group to run capture so only trusted user. For more detailed information, see the Kismet. Okay, okay. So install Kismet set user. Yes. Only user in the Kismet group. Okay. For now, I have only one user that will be in the Kismet group. It, it's going to be Kali. 
Dumb cap can be installed. This, this, is, this, is the recommend, this is recommended over alternative of running Wireshark T Shark directly as root because less code will be run with elevated privileges. For more detail, okay, enabling this feature may cause us uh, so we, to leave it disabled. Should non super user be able to capture packets? Yes. SSLH can be run either as a service. Okay, me, it's gonna be. Uh, uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use it from inetd. Okay. So uh, it may take a while to finish the job. So I'm gonna continue in the next video. Okay. So the installation of uh, Kali Linux default is completed or is complete 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 yes and uh, now I have uh, okay so out of 21 gigabytes I'm using 15 gigabytes and I have 4.6 gigabytes available so uh, if we look at that graphically okay so on my persistent memory in my Chromebook, I have 4.6 gigabyte available. Okay, now, now, if I do a start xfce4, <clears throat> just to look at uh, now how it looks. <sighs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh. Hmm. Well, okay, maybe it's already running. Okay, so anyway, the installation is completed or complete, and uh, now I will uh, finish that video.